Foxtrots. Hey, 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 happy Tuesday, y'all. Hope everybody's having a great, great day. And real traders never trade alone. They trade with their fellow nerds. I am your host, Sweet Bobby, the Sweet Bobby, Dr. Sweet Bobby. Glad to be with you today. We've got uh, real traders never trade alone. They trade with their fellow nerds, like 12547, like Chain, like Coach C, like Daniel, like DB, like Edwin, like Jim, like Joel, like John's iPhone, like Matt Jolly Wally, like Matt G, like Mo, like Stacy, like Steven, like Vicky with an I, like Victor and Will. So welcome in, y'all. Hope you're having a great day. The market is up 8.5 points, 0.15%. Everything looks good. It looks like uh, just about average volume. The VIX is at the VIX is at 15.68 for all you option sellers out there. That looks good for your positions because the VIX is going down. AD negative 47 which is kind of interesting that that's negative and the market's up. So we may see, if it continues the AD to be negative, we may see a little bit of a fall. Yeah, because normally these things normalize. I want you to see divergence here. You see this going down, this going up. That doesn't happen very often. Normally AD is a leading indicator, and we would anticipate that price would go down to match the AD. So we'll see if AD comes back up to go with price or if price indeed starts following AD and AD goes down. All right, let's look at the big green monster today. The big green monster is fairly price and right about where it should be. Our next target to the upside is 59.45 and we are dangling at the point of control, which is 57.71. Let's look at the linear regression. Linear regression is still in the up, uh, up, trend of our little thing here so we probably need to extend those out a little bit but we're maybe getting into a little bit of consolidation over the last three sessions so maybe consolidating before our next move downward so interesting to see let's see what the skew driver looks like today open the skew driver up skew driver tells us if there's going to be any sudden moves to the downside so it looks like our 5.2 is at 40 points away from the market let's go put that in and uh, over here so we can see it we're 40 points away from the market with our skew driver so today is 9 24 24 and we said 40 and let's move these down uh do -do 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 -do. and do -do 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 -do. hold on a second uh there we go so the skew driver looks about normal nothing really to see here Ski driver is doing what the ski driver does. So uh, it's about 30 to 40. So uh, the closer this gets, the more likely there's a drop going to be. So it's getting a little close. So we may see a little drop coming up, but it's not close enough to say that there is an imminent drop on the way. So very, very interesting. Let's close that. And let's look at our little, oh, I wanted to show y'all the results of the back test that I was doing uh, for those of y'all that were on chat GPT with me yesterday. <laughs> um. We've got this TQQ portfolio, and I just asked ChatGPT what the status is. The back test is now complete. I'm finalizing the presentation of the results, and they're going to prepare the comparisons with the hedge fund, the excellent adventure, the nine sig signal, and Lachello's aim. You'll have the full report ready to view very soon. So I'm very excited about that. So let me give them a thumbs up on that, and hopefully that report will be uh, very, very soon. So we'll see. You know, if we're going to do something like AIM or the 9SIG, and it would be interesting to see if any of these beat uh, what the algorithm that the computer came up with with ChatGPT. So that's going to be really, really, really interesting. So y'all stay tuned for that. So let's see our little account's doing today. So our little account that is fully hedged. Today's 924. God, hard to believe this month is over, y'all. Crazy. So we are at 76,235. 76,235. 39.14. 39.14. Let's play it, Rico. Vix, we said, was at 15. And where buying power usage is at over here. And our bind power usage is at, hurry up. This thing takes forever to load up sometimes. All right, here we go. So go to cap requirement of that and do that. So we're at 1535. 
1535. I said 1535. And let's see how our hedges are doing. Not really a lot to do here. Risk analysis, today's the 24th. And points and make sure everything is checked here. Sometimes I uncheck stuff. So we don't have a lot of protection to the downside. We're getting close, y'all, to where we need to put in a, a different um, uh, hedge. And we're not going to be able to sell three. Uh, yeah, how the SKU driver is calculated again. The SKU driver basically says, uh, it, this is the baby of uh, Scott Rubel. And Scott Rubel trades 20-point wide uh, spreads in SPX. And so he just kind of kept noticing that um, normally he buys a spread for $5.20. And so he noticed that there were times when the $5 spread or 20 wide spread was farther away from the market. And he started noticing that when it was really far away from the market, that the market would turn around and go up. And he noticed that when the 20 point wide spread going for $5.20 was closer to the money, that there was an impending down move in the market. So about the average is 25 to 35. Today was 40. So it's kind of normal today. So it just kind of, and, and uh, you know, it just tells you like if we had a, if we were like 200 points away from the market uh, today, that would probably tell us that there was going to be a big move to the upside. And if we were probably at 10 uh, points away from the, at the money price, then that would probably tell us that there was going to be a move to the to the downside. That's just one of our little tools to, to figure out of what's going on. So we don't have much of a hedge here is what I'm trying to say. Let me unbait away this and see what that does. It doesn't do anything because we've only got ES positions. If you've got different positions, though, make sure that you bait away these. So it's probably getting close for me. If this goes under $10,000, I would be peed off if we had a crash and I made no more than $10,000. All of this work to hedge has got to pay off somewhere. And <laughs> my pleasure, uh, Stephen, um, has got to pay off somewhere. So I'm getting about there to where I'm about ready to say, hey, um, let's see if we can see what a hedge would do. Sometimes this thing works and sometimes it doesn't. So you couldn't actually sell three, but what I could do is go out maybe 115 days and sell three for $3. Let's see what this looks like. 395, let's go in. There's 100 white strikes there. Let's go down to 98 days and go down to the $3 strike. Here we go. So we could do this. We could sell three of these here, two, three. And then we could go 98, so we go about 68 days. So we go to 66 days and buy one for about $1.55. See if it'll show what this hedge looks like. So $1.55 there. Let's buy five of those. Four or five. And hopefully it'll show both of them. Let's see. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. So let's go add order legs. And we get a darn uh, exception, so it won't show it. But anyway, when it does work, it's just kind of a cool thing. Okay, so let's see how our GTC orders are working. We've got one that's about to fire off, $2 to $1.55, so that'll be good. That will uh, buy five, so I'll be able to sell three more. We've got some harvests that are far away. We've got another one where we're going to buy five. So that's not too far away. And we've got another harvest far away. And this one is kind of close getting there. If we had to harvest those three, we could do that. So those are the uh, 3550s. Let's see what those look like if we were to take those off. The 3550s, this would give us a hedge of 31,000. That's more of what we're looking at. That's more of what we're looking at. So let's... Uh, I will have hopefully have something on our income trade once the back test is now complete and once ChatGPT gives me an error or gives me a, a comparison of all three of these different things in comparison to the strategy that I proposed and we'll see what works best and we'll probably come up with some type of income tank. Maybe AIM, 
It may be the nine sig, which is simpler than aim, or we could do something like a hedge fund, these excellent adventure, which might be fun as well. But I think we're going to wait till we have a major pullback before we jump into any of them, or we may dollar cost average into it. Okay. But we will have an income trade of sorts. All right, y'all. Great session today. I appreciate you all coming in short and sweet. Love you to pieces. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. Bye, y'all.